Sounds good, kind of. I don't really like your forecast, but mm. um, this time of year, you may feel a little down. The mm -hmm. weather can certainly have an impact yep. on this too. But if you do feel that way, just know that you're not alone. The American Psychiatric Association reports that five percent of American adults actually suffer from seasonal affective disorder. Channel Three's Stephanie Simone gives us a closer look at what it can look like if you're dealing with the condition as part of our Healthy Minds, Healthy Lives series. Take a look. If you don't like shorter days and colder temperatures, there could be a good reason for it. It's hard because especially when you get home from work, the day's over. It could be seasonal affective disorder, also known as SAD. A lot of times it gets called uh, winter blues. Wheeler's behavioral health director, Jessica Arnold, says the less sunshine and being outside can bring down your serotonin, that feel-good chemical your body makes naturally. Especially during the holiday season, too, really not wanting to do family functions, really withdrawing yourself from activities that you normally find enjoyable. She says most of us can treat it with eating better, going for light walks, or turning on a little fake sunshine. So you call this a happy light? Yeah, yep, okay. it's a yep, happy light or a light box if you were to look it up in Google. I only use it about 20 minutes a day and that's really all it takes in order for me to just feel a little bit more awake and a little bit more with it. If these don't work and you start to notice the weight gain, the weight loss, you're not sleeping well, right? Now, now you're feeling like your entire rhythm is off. That's when you really need to start speaking to a professional. Getting up in the morning, get out in sunlight first thing in the day. Uh, go for a walk or just stand outside is really important. Guilford's Rich Ayler has noticed his sad symptoms in his 20s. At the time, I was working in the music business, so I was working really crazy hours, not outdoors very often, and overworking. Now his work brings him outside all the time. He runs a retreat for men coping with burnout and stress, and he uses red light therapy. Okay. I just moved here. Me and Jackie okay. just became friends in September. <laughs> Even in the cold, Jackie and Wasfea walk together on work breaks just for that shot of energy. The fresh air helps energize us and like even if it's cold, like the cold air is nice on your face. I kind of like to lean into it and just kind of take it slow and we like to get out on our lunchtime and just go on walks to kind of get the sun that we can. Hey, it's true. A simple walk can do so much for your mm -hmm. health, your self-esteem, the way you feel, your positive energy. Get out there and take a walk. Even if it's for 10 or 15 minutes, just walk around your neighborhood if you can. Yeah, we talked about this with Dana Brown from Be My yeah, Body Fitness absolutely. yesterday. Just yep. moving your body and even, you know, getting up in the morning if you're up before sunrise or mm -hmm. right at sunrise, go look at the sun. They yep. say that that's really good for you really to good. stare and, well, don't, don't stare, stare into, into the, the sun, sun when it gets really bright, but at sunrise and sunset, it's okay. <laughs> don't listen to me. I'm not a doctor. You know what? But you know what you can listen to? You can, you can listen to all the stories we have on Healthy Lives, Healthy Minds on WFSB+. We're going to talk to a doctor now, though. Absolutely.